Some parents say Crestwood School District has unfair hiring practices when it comes to filling top jobs, and they're worried it could happen again when selecting a new superintendent. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat tracked down one school board member to get some answers in a story you'll only see on 7. School board members of the Crestwood School District here in Dearborn Heights are facing some tough scrutiny on social media. One parent telling us today that she does not have confidence that they are filling positions in the right way without any type of favoritism. It's disheartening to see that as a parent, as a community member, I have to come to this point in order to be heard. As a parent to four children in the Crestwood School District, Nadja Janoon keeps close watch on the quality of education. On this Facebook page, she and other parents recently ramped up criticism over alleged lack of transparency and questionable hires, in some cases of employees related to board members. That relative was not recommended for the position if other people who had more experience. A 1972 Crestwood High School graduate and current board member of 22 years, Colleen Krasanik agreed to talk on camera about this. We would really like to, to change things up. Colleen says an outside agency is being used to identify the most qualified candidates for a superintendent to be named November 1st. We respect the company and we, we thought they'd do the best job. An acting superintendent who didn't return our calls is among the people who've applied. For Najah, the focus remains on keeping parents, students and staff informed and showing some respect. Transparency is the key word and we've had, we've really had an issue with there being a lack of transparency. We are trying to be as transparent and the community is invited to every single meeting and we encourage that. We want their input. Although no names have been given out yet, the top candidates resumes will be reviewed here at a board meeting tomorrow. The public is welcome to attend at 515 from Dearborn Heights. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.